Today we're going to be talking about ticker symbol S-O-U-N, SoundHound AI Inc. This is the company that NVIDIA revealed that it has a stake in, and after it revealed that, the stock has exploded. Um, it was at just about $1.62 back in February 6th of this year. Now it's trading at um, it had a high of $10.25, and yesterday, I mean Friday, it is at in the aftermarket at six dollars and six cents so still about almost a 5x from where it was in the beginning of the year the stock has since pulled back from highs of ten dollars and 25 cents and that's because of a short report that came out um, on friday um let's just look at the levels right now we have it at right here um at that six dollar mark um, I feel if it pulls back lower, we can see it pull back to just about $5.66. Before that, after that, if it goes even further, we can see it go down to that 50-day moving average, just at $3.93. And if it goes even further, we can see it pull back all the way down to $2.40. Um, definitely at these levels, we got to watch because at, at these support levels, you're going to see a lot of buyers come in and buy, you know, buy up the stock because they're going to see it as a buying opportunity and because it's you know cheaper than where it was a couple of days ago and like i said you gotta remember the stock was at a dollar 62 so if it pulls back even down to the two dollar range expected to have some type of bounce because a lot of buyers are going to see that it's close to the lows of february and it's a good time opportune time in their opinion to get some of the stock before when i talked about the stock is just as all the nvidia news came out and before the earnings and i was i didn't invest at the time because i was hesitant you know it's a stock that ran up a lot since the nvidia news and the earnings was coming out and more than likely the stock you know what's going to pull back in my opinion after earnings and that's what happened and after the earnings it bounced back as the whole market and, and nvidia has bounced back and right now the stock um like i said is um had that um short report and i'm going to go into it right now so this is a short report removed by caprara research soundcloud lies ban lies and cheeseburger ai that rhymes um, they have a price target of just about a dollar for the company. They say that this is basically all the points they say they're misleading investors about the AI capabilities. Um, to answer many user queries, sound AI product research searches Wikipedia and returns scraped contact. If you matter from uh, high school and middle school, Wikipedia is not a credible um, place to search for information because it can be modified by people. Um, second, they are saying that SoundCloud speech recognition tech is a commodity space that competes with comparable products from Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Apple, um, Cerberus, and many others. SoundHound has admitted uh, as much as uh, removing claims about the superiority of the product. Um, they compete against very big companies and it's a crowded space and they don't think that if they're searching through Wikipedia, the company is going to be a competitor. And they say one of the largest competitor in the automotive space uh, spends far more on research and development than SoundCloud and has been taking their customers. Um, I just want to show you this article over here. It's don't fall for one of these overhyped AI stocks and stocks to avoid. And you have this company, uh, Sarant, that uh, they're saying in their short report that is a competitor, is an overlooked AI stock operating in a promising sector, but are some areas investors should look into. Investors seeking average returns in a market can opt out for low cost index funds. However, not all stocks perform well as the market. This company, its shares price has only increased 24% in the past three years, lagging the overall market performance. The share price has experienced a decline of 13% in the last um, 12 months. Um, it's performing worse than the overall market. However, over the past three years, the stock has shown an average return of 7%. Um, basically, the stock is a slow mover. It hasn't been moving at all, actually. And it doesn't make sense for you to avoid in um, 
this company if it's not gonna really move. Um, you know, let's look at the last three years. And overall, in the last three years, this stock has been on a decline. It's supposed to be the company that's taking SoundHound's um, customers, according to this um, short report. Just keep that in mind when you're looking at the short report. Um, and um, where is it? After extensive research, we have taken a short position in shares of SoundHound and the support brace. So when you're looking at these short reports, you have to remember that these companies most of the time have taken a short position in the company before releasing these short reports. Um, so that they took a short and a couple of shares before re releasing this report, obviously they did, they made a massive amount of money. It's a good way for the companies, these companies to m make these short reports, make some money and then run out. Um, not always that these short reports are inaccurate. As we saw with Nikola, it was pretty accurate. So you always got to say, like they say, do your own due diligence. Please read our full disclaimer at the bottom of the support. So just be aware that they took a short position. There are biases to the downside. They're not going to report all the positive things about the company. They are basically trying to pad their pockets real fast based on their report. Um, they do mention here the bull thesis. Uh, the bull thesis for SoundHound is more products and services will integrate voice um, interfaces for user interaction, which is true. Many products and services will use a third-party voice assistant technology. SoundHound will capture a significant portion of this voice interface market. SoundHound will be able to generate advertising revenue by striking deals with companies to promote their products or service for a fee. Users will be able will prefer to use SoundHound's voice assistant over competitors such as those offered natively on smartphones. Users Users researching for products or services using SoundHound voice assistant tech, directing products, directing users to products or services that have been paid placement for, paid for placement. Um, and I think that is the future. A lot of companies are going to be using um, different companies such as SoundHound to be um, using that voice interaction, interaction for users, making that experience better for users, etc., etc. Um, let's look at this article. The AI sound revolution is here, and NVIDIA knows it. And NVIDIA, uh, they've been talking about this um, AI for a while, and everyone's getting excited because AI is the future. We see it with um, the different AI that was a boom between the, the end of last year and the beginning of this year. Um, you have Leonardo, you have ChatGPT, etc., etc. And now we have um, SoundHound. SoundHound revenue increased 80% year over year to 17 million in the fourth quarter of 2023. Furthermore, their gross margin improved by 6% points year over year to 77%. Um, we're not, they're not currently giving it a great A. However, um, a lot of companies are getting, um, analysts are getting more bullish on SoundHound, seeing that it is one of those speculative stocks that could have um, great um, high risk to a great reward. So things that concern some users about SoundHound is that the CFO sold 23,000 shares um, at $8 a share, resulting in a total value of about $200,000. Um, and then it has a the insider transaction history for the company reveals a pattern of 43 insider sales and no insider buy over the small time frame. All right, so let's get into that. Why would be these insiders be selling their shares. Just look at the chart. Let's just look at it. All right. So if we look back all the way to 2023, this stock has been in a range, about a dollar to three dollars as max since last year. So if these insiders, as every everybody, wants money, then as they see the stock start to go up, they will start to sell some shares. It's just, I guess, you can call it human nature. Um, if you've been holding on to your, your shares of a company for a long time and now you see it from where you're holding it, it it's almost 10 X's. Why wouldn't you take some money off the table, you know, feed your family, buy a house, buy a nice boat. That's just my opinion. And I think that's opinion for most people. It's not like they sold all their shares. They sell some shares, but they are overall taking some money because they deserve it. You want to be in this company for so long, holding on to your shares. Why not? That's just my opinion. 
Um, still, um, I think that this, this stock can go down further. We see that the RSI has broken down to the bear side. And then overall, there are a lot of indicators that are pointing down to the downside. As we can see, the um, stock has um, a lot of high selling volume, as you see over here, over here, and over here, down there. Um, let me know what you think about SoundHound. Do you think that's going to break down further below supports? Um, or is it going to bounce off the support at $5, $5.80 and shoot up higher? Or is it going to break down all the way down to $2.40 a share? Let me know what you think down below.